नमस्ते एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल दूरदर्शन एंड यूट्यूब व्यूअर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दि वन सेवेंटी फोर्थ त्यागराजा आराधना सेलिब्रेशन लाइव फ्रम तिरवयार टुडे इज द पुष्य बहुल पंचमी तिथि डे ऑफ द ग्रेट सेंट कंपोस त्यागराज स्वामी वी हेव ऑल गैदर्ड हियर टू रेंडर द पंचरत्न कृतीस ऑफ दिस ग्रेट कंपोस द लाइव टेलीकास्ट विल बिगिन एट एट थर्टी ए एम Before that we present to you a documentary on this great composer Saint Tyagaraja Swami from the archives of Doordarshan please enjoy thank you Cradled by the munificent Kaveri, it has always been a land of plenty and prosperity. Modern trends have not been able to affect the unique traditional cultural ethos of this land. patronage of the cholas and later the maratha kings meant that various literary and art forms flowered and flourished in this area and it came to occupy a place of pride in the cultural map of the country Artistically congenial atmosphere, Saint Tyagaraja was born. A 
versatile composer, a bold star on the musical firmament. He surrendered his soul at the feet of Lord Rama. <laughs> behind a treasure house of compositions. Shishya Parampara, divine in its approach to music, or rather, musical in its approach to the divine. Saint Jagaraja was a contemporary of Shama Shastri and Mukul Swami Dikshita. And this musical trinity shines as a beacon light to the aspirants, exponents, and rasikas of Carnatic music. Saint Tyagaraja was born in the temple town of Tiruvaru, presided over by the deities Tyageshar and Kamalambal. He was born on a Monday under the Pusha star. Right from early childhood, he was imbued with Rama Bhakti and musical genius. As a boy, he was familiar with a number of Divya Nama Kirtanas. He had inherited his literary talent from his paternal ancestors and musical talent from his maternal ancestors and he had the divine blessings of Lord Rama. It's interesting indeed to note that the parents of Tyagaraja were Rama Brahmam and Sita Lakshmi. Privileged to have been under the tutelage of Sonti Venkata Ramanaya, Tyagaraja was a brilliant singer and expert Vainika. The divine glow of self-denying Rama Bhakti infused his composition with eternal brilliance. And Raghuvira, the Raja Kumara, was forever enthroned in his heart. Tyagaraja got married at the age of 18.
Her race of devotion continued to permeate their lives, and they had a daughter named Sita Lakshmi. When he was nearly 18, one Haridasa from Kanchipuram advised him to recite the Rama Nama 96 crores of times. A sacred privilege which the saint completed in 21 years. After all, he was in blissful communion with the divine, even as he lived and breathed. The five rivers of Vadavaru, Vennaru, Udamurutti, Vettaru, and Kaveri pay obeisance to their Lord Panchanadishwara, the Divine Lord of Siruvayaru. And Tyagaraja's family moved to the house in Tirumanjanaviti here in 1774 when he was seven. his life, the saint composer declined the offer of wealth even by the royalty. For the divine jewel of Rama Bhakti was the most precious of all the riches in this world and thereafter. Tabirama Temple in Nadu Kaveri is on the other bank of Kaveri and drew Tyagaraja like a lot star to its divine portal. <laughs> and a flow of composition poured out of his heart on not only Rama, but also on the presiding deities of various other temples like Tirupati, Sholingur, Kovur, Tiruvathriyur, Sri Rangam, and also Tiruvayaru. <laughs> prolific nature of his composition was more than matched by his piety and sincerity and these qualities alone got back to him the Rama Vigraha which got drowned in the Tirumanjana Kaveri. <laughs>
Tyagaraja led a life of austerity and devotion and practiced Unjavrti. This practice, followed by the pious even today, envisages a life wherein one's worldly desires are washed away in the music meant for the divine. <laughs> The bhiksha or the rice offered by the devotees would suffice for one's existence. beautiful thoughts and philosophies. In Moksha Mugalata, he says, there is no salvation for people who are devoid of devotion and knowledge of music. In Shakkani Raja Margamu, he asks as to why one should seek the bylanes when there is a royal road of Rama Bhakti leading to eternal bliss. In the Kirtana, Ni Bhakti Bhagya Sudha, the saint says, the life spent in swimming in the ocean of milky devotion is worthily spent. Having asserted and proved that musical surrender is a certain means of attaining moksha or salvation, Saint Tyagaraja attained the lotus feet of Lord Rama on the Bagula Panchami day. A devotee, Nagaratnamal from Bangalore, who exemplified Manasika Guru Bhakti at its best and most pure, who spent her wealth in beautifying the area around the Samadhi of Tyaga Brahma, has come to occupy a special niche in the musical world for her spiritual surrender to music and her guru. a place of pilgrimage for music lovers where not only music maestros but also novices and students can place their musical offerings at the feet of the kindly guiding presence of the same composer. <laughs>
on the Aradhana day, which usually falls in January, devotees throng the Samadhi on the banks of the Kaveri to participate in the Aradhana. Tulara on flute precedes the commencement of the singing of Pancharatana Kritis. Five gems in the Ghanaragas embody in them the essence of the philosophy of the saint composer, which illumines the Raja Marga to Rama's presence and salvation.
another significant proceeding during the aradhana is mallari an ensemble of nadaswaram sansavan magnificent in its musical richness devotees join the descendants of nagaratnamal in paying obeisance to her devoted soul is the 150th aradhana to the saint sri kunnakudi vaidyanathan secretary of the sri tyaga brahma mahotsava sabha has this to say we propose to build a monument in memory of saint tyagaraja a hall in the name of every melakarta raga will be built steps will bear in the names of 35 talas there will be a musical meditation hall in the form of a tambura this is no mere musical festival it is an aradhana in which we feel at least in a minuscule part the divine ecstasy that emerges from the confluence of the human soul with the divine the jivatma with the paramatma the sublime emotion that transformed the life of the saint composer and wherever and whenever his songs are rendered with piety and devotion ram bhakti samrajyam spreads its radiance all around and innumerable are the great souls who experience divine joy 